have some time for questions. And Susan, I do have one right here for you. Um, how do you choose the mental health provider or, or therapy type that is a good fit for you? It's an excellent question. And uh, there is not a direct answer, but I'll give you the overview. Some of this has to do with what, you know, what the availability is of those mental health providers. So there's not always a big choice, depending on where you're located. But start starting with, you know, what is that individual's qualifications and credentials? Um, and it, unfortunately, this is a field in which there's a wide range of qualifications. Um, you don't necessarily have to see a psychiatrist. In fact, most psychiatrists are not doing therapy. But to sort of check out individual therapists to find out what their background is. So there are therapists who spend a lot of time working with people who have substance use disorder or other related disorders that may have a better understanding and specialize in this disorder. Some people ask me whether the per I should go to a therapist who's also in recovery, like myself. Um, and that really depends because, I mean, just because you are in recovery doesn't make you an expert in recovery. So that's in that is important. So you have to sort of check them out. I, I, I am a card-carrying member of 12-step groups, and I'm a fan, but they don't work for everyone. I would also encourage people to at least check out an AA or NA meetings that are free. And um, in, in today's age, a lot of them are by Zoom, so you don't even actually have to go anywhere to sort of check it out. So that's a, these are good resources. Also, look to your own health insurance. Uh, so what would be covered in terms of therapy or, you know, substance abuse treatment? And I'm going to talk about that for one minute, maybe two. So when, if you are someone who's looking for treatment for your substance use disorder, it is really important to vet the, the group that is offering these services. And because um, it is not one size fits all and the program should be patient driven not program driven so there's a couple of and if someone's really interested in how to vet them you can email me or reach out to me at at my email and i can give you some more specific guidelines 